Hello everyone and welcome back to your favorite channel about everything 2D. In this video, we're going to share our picks for what we think are some of the best sources to learn 2D animation here on YouTube. Let's dive in. Let's jumpstart this by what I like to call the Krita Saga. For those of you who are absolute newcomers to the realm of animation, Josh from Winged Canvas breaks down in excruciating detail everything about getting started with animation in a program that happens to be accessible to everyone by virtue of being free and open source. In this instance, Josh covers the technical aspects of using Krita for your 2D animation needs. In other words, this video leans more towards the tools that this program offers, along with some time-saving tips and tricks. The video itself is very well paced and covers practically every feature Krita has to offer, from setting up the whole workspace itself, to manipulating your timeline and frames throughout the process, and even importing audio. We recommend you check both the video and the channel as a whole, actually, as it's run by multiple skilled instructors who cover a variety of topics that aren't only limited to animation, but illustration as well. It's a great place to get you started that also happens to cover multiple bases. Now that you are acquainted with the more technical side of Krita and are more familiar with tools at your disposal, you're ready to move into animation proper. Jesse J. Jones explained both the thought process behind decision making in animation, as well as the manner in which the different tools are used to speed up the entire production process, all complete with an example of a frame by frame animation. The video covers broad topics, from animation essentials, such as anticipation and overshooting, to more technical aspects, like timing and matching your animation into a beat, as well as more specific details, like adding bounciness to hair, for example. Jess even shows us a manner to cheat puppet animation through transform masks and motion tweens. Like, we can't recommend this video and Jess's channel enough, so give it a look if you're eager to expand your animation knowledge. To conclude this Krita chapter, we recommend you check out Ed's guide on the use of the aforementioned motion tween and transform masks to, yet again, cheat, but this time it's to create the illusion of camera movement for your backgrounds, along with some very neat effects, color grading, and general post-production tricks to help you make your finished product seem more, well, more finished. It's a lot simpler than it looks like for something that will make a massive difference in the quality of your finished product, especially if you want to save time, so do check it out. Well, tutorial things doesn't mess around. I kid you not, in the span of the 3 minutes and 28 seconds of going through this video, you will, for all intents and purposes, know exactly how to render an animation from absolute nothing in Blender's 2D animation space. Now, of course, it does say basic in the title, so obviously it won't go into the more advanced things that you can do in Blender, but it makes for a great starting point. For software that are as dense and all-inclusive as Blender, highly specific and bite-sized guides like these are always welcome, in my opinion. The channel goes over a lot of these slightly obscure topics, and they always hit the nail on the head. So, now you are familiar with the tools, but you're still struggling to make your animations look more convincing. You don't even know where to start half of the time. That's because now you have to get acquainted with fundamentals. And worry not, we got your back. There aren't many things that can take credit for making me feel existential in a positive way. And yet, this is exactly what Alex Gregg manages to do, as he covers six of the 12 principles of animation. Greg's background as a veteran animation director shows in how well-written, well-explained, well-paced, and overall well-produced his videos are in general. 
In this instance, his mastery shows in how he communicates relatively complex ideas in an easily digestible manner, going over things like timing, squash and stretch, anticipation, and how these principles interact with each other. All of it builds up into showcasing not just a method, but an entire thought process that will help you fundamentally improve any animation, while iterating on an idea that we wholeheartedly support. In any creative medium, it's all about the creator's intent. There's no correct or false results, just principles that help you sell your ideas better. Now, would you look at that? Two recommendations of the same guy. So this is how you know it's actually legit. In this video, Grig shares with us the manner in which he goes from ideation to execution through the process of keyframing. He explains what keyframing means and completes the package with two concrete examples that vary in complexity, with the same clarity and quality he always delivers in, with some technical software advice sprinkled in for good measure. And now, folks, we move into something more advanced. And speaking of concrete application, WBA Studio documents the process of animating a dynamic sports scene from the planning phase to the final compositing and rendering. It's a beautifully shot journey with some added insight into the thought process behind creating this very beautiful scene, all made using a relatively accessible program in Procreate. The channel itself is riddled with wonderful cinematic masterpieces in both the animations themselves and the way the process of creating them is documented, ideal if you're seeking some relaxing education. Maybe a dynamic sports scene is a bit overwhelming to wrap your head around. So why don't we instead have a head wrap around an axis and turn it 360 degrees? Much simpler, right? In this two-part series, Moe U33 shows us exactly how to draw, rig, and animate this adorable ginger girl in Moho. And don't you think that any steps were skipped here? as this entire project equates to around two and a half hours worth of content. And you can very easily follow along every step of the process. So if you're looking for a one-stop shop to learn about character animation in Moho, then this is a great start. The channel itself provides a multitude of step-by-step -step tutorials, as well as shorter form animation examples that you can use as a reference for your own work. It's literally a gold mine that doesn't mind sharing its secrets, and you should definitely pay it a visit. If you want to save up some more time, then TutorX shows you how to take advantage of motion capture to animate your characters more efficiently using Adobe Character Animator, which allows you to work directly from Photoshop or Illustrator files. The video walks you through the technical process of setting up a character or a rig, the exact details of how the program manages to capture your performance, as well as how to record and edit your takes. It's short, concise, and very thorough. You'll be armed with all the knowledge you need to get you started with this program. And last but not least, a little bonus for flip -a clip enthusiasts. Garvit shows you amazing ways to improve both the quality of your animations as well as some time-saving hacks that can honestly apply to other programs as well. It goes over a very simple way to add anticipation to your animations along with a few tips for faster rendering. Definitely worth checking out. And that is all we have for you today. We hope this video scratched the knowledge itch and gave you suitable resources for your current needs. And if not, then worry not, as we have many more videos on our channel about this very topic. And for those of you who like to share your wisdom, feel free to leave your favorite resources in the comment section below. And don't forget to leave a like and a sub. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.